CBS is billing the two weekends as CBS Premier Week sneak ends. The Equalizer's Queen Latifah. NCIS. Gary Cole and Wilmer Valderrama. NCIS. Hawaii's Vanessa Lachey and LL Cool J. The Neighborhood's Cedric the Entertainer and Max Greenfield. Trackers Justin Hartley and Young Sheldon's Ian Armitage will also be providing messages to viewers. All CBS returning scripted series, including the FBI and NCIS franchises, Young Sheldon, which is ending this season, and The Neighborhood, will debut their new seasons the week of February 12. As Deadline reported, the strike-impacted seasons will consist of 10 to 13 episodes running February to May, which also is the case at CBS. For instance, The Neighborhood and CSI. Vegas will do 10 episodes, the FBI's 13. There are two exceptions, including CBS, flagship comedy Young Sheldon, which will air 14 or 15 episodes. The hope is that ahead of its premiere week, which begins after Super Bowl 58, the return of scripted series after the writers and actors strikes delayed its lineup. Shows such as Young Sheldon, Watch the sneak peeks above, as well as FBI, FBI, International, Blue Bloods, Fire Country, Ghosts, The Neighborhood and its new series Tracker, which launches after the Super Bowl, are getting this treatment on January 14 ahead of CBS, Wild Card Game, while Bob Hart's Abishola, CSI, Vegas, The Equalizer, FBI, Most Wanted, NCIS, NCIS, Hawaii, So Help Me Todd, Watch Below, and SWAT will have their sneak peeks the following weekend on either January 20th or 21, depending on the results this weekend.